Hi, welcome. Uh, this is going to be a very short video, but I will describe the setup of my cockpit and several items that is actually quite important when you are doing the simulations inside DCS. So yeah, this is the, the is my PC down there. So it's actually um, I built that myself. It's, it's quite an old one now, two three years old, with Ryzen twenty seven hundred X, Aorus Gaming Seven Wi Fi. Of course, the card uh, video card is a bit brand new, twenty eighty Ti GT, uh, RTX. So yeah, it's quite okay right now, and. On top of that, this is my uh, portable desk setup where I edit my video. There's a bit of mixer there uh, and my 4K TV as a display rather than using monitor so I can put them uh, a bit back further away from me so I don't use my reading glasses. I'm uh, pretty sure you know my age now. Um, yeah so it's basically this is the desktop and here is the the cockpit itself right so uh, I've make a video about it uh, how to build it and the process of it but I'm going to show you several things that is quite important first the AC one uh, basically uh, hold on I do uh, put my keyboard here and sometimes I move it there so if I'm editing video I put it there in the desk but during play I put it here on a standoff so I can reach out when I was using VR it's very easy to reach out and you know do some quick stuff uh, the first important one is this one this is the Kensington trackball mouse. Uh, the good thing is that this is very small and uh, the footprint, this one has a rotating ring. So this one can rotate the ring. So I can simulate clicking and turning the knobs in DCS by turning that knobs, okay, in the trackball. And I can set up in the, the software from Kensington, this Kensington works, they call it, uh, to, to adjust counterclockwise or clockwise. So you can adjust yourself. It's, it's not match with the, what happened inside DCS, for example. So yeah, that is the, one of the most useful one of my gear uh, when doing simulation in DCS, because if I you know, if I need it, it was there, you know, to control the mouse inside this year, this year. And if you're using like F-16 or other air, air aircraft that I don't have a cockpit, I use that one. I have two of them. So one is actually in my other generic cockpit uh, rather than in the F-18 cockpit like this. But I just, in, in case I have to nav navigate in the menus inside DCS when starting up, so I'm using that trackball, so I don't have a big space. The other one actually is right here. Let me move. So this one is actually a button box, okay? This button box is one of the most useful one that I'm using. Um, I put it here so I can reach out when I was uh, in the simulator. This one actually simulate 12 F, uh, F key from the keyboard with additional button around. So this one F1, F2, F3, F4, F5, F6, 7, 8, until 12. And there's a button here, if you can see uh, here, it actually to reset my VR view. So I don't have to grab a uh, keyboard or something, I just press this one so this one is like this I grab it like this it's very ergonomic so I can 
push this one when I want to reset my VR view. And there's another tree actually, three button more in the back side of this button box. Uh, I use this for my knee pad. This one is for next page, a previous page and activate and deactivate knee pad. And I use this one for uh, active pause. Okay, so I, if I need emergency active pause because I need to tumble around some menus, well, it's breaking up the real simulator experience, of course, but active pause is here in case I need it. This one is my backup uh, comm switch, comm A, comm B, uh, comm, comm 1, comm 2, sorry, in FA18C. So instead of using, let's say, uh, voice attack or something, sometimes they are quite unreliable, drop off out of the systems, and it's just easier for me to just reach it out and press the F, required F, so after sometimes you already know which one is the F, I just need to count my, I put my finger like this, this is F4 here, and F8 is here, for example, F12, F10 for map. Well, it's quite intuitive, at least once you get used to it. So, yeah, not uh, need a lot of practice. So that is the third items that is very useful when doing simulator. What else? Um, Oh yeah, the other one is actually over here. Sorry, I need to move again. So this one is another latest additions in my switch or button box. So basically is you, when you launch from super carrier, you salute and you put your hand here and then you press here. That is your salute uh, trigger into the crew. So really, you really simulating the hand holding into the this, uh, this hold bar, and while you are actually saluting inside DCS. So you can do your own salute in uh, in real life. Of course, here nobody see it, but yeah, you can practice your salute and then put it hand here and then trigger it. So then your aircraft will launch. So that is really really good experience so far what else uh, and that's it I think that is four items that really really help me um, immerse uh, into the simulator of course the, the cockpit buttons as usual is, is there uh, and you see my even my hot has already uh, have different color one is matte one is shiny because my hand is actually uh, using more the left side. I mean, hand resting there more rather than the left side. So yeah, it's getting shiny because of my sweat, my <laughs> heavy use uh, on the cockpit. Yeah, that's that's the cockpit. So here, here it is. So it is light up, uh, but just for fun. Okay, <laughs> nothing happens in uh, in the CS itself. Okay, so that's a quick video for you this week. I'm still working on several video about DCS, but yeah. Oh, the other things probably uh, you asked for it, um, previously in uh, the previous video. That is my PS3 camera uh, for IR tracker. I put it there sometimes if I you I want to use the IR tracker. Um, yeah, but uh, if I need it, if I want to, it's there. And this is for my camera, um, for my handphone, something to record my activity. Um, yeah, that's that's the other stuff. Anything else? Well, that's it. Uh, hopefully that's useful. Give you some idea or things for yourself. Um, okay, see you next time.